Hey everyone, uh, just John here, uh, coming out with another video, and this is a response to Samwise 7 RPGs video Hex World and making a fantasy world, or section of a world. And here's my little input towards it, and which is the land of Mythkal, which is a tropic jungle land or kingdom. Um, very high fantasy meets lost world science with a little bit of science fiction involved. Um, that's just flavor. Um, climate is, it is a tropical jungle, but there is snow on the ground. For whatever reason. Just cause that is just fun. Um, various, uh, the race of this world, the main intelligent race, are the Sumak. Which are basically, uh, if you think of the Thycreen from the Dark Sun setting, uh, they are just basically the bug men of this world. The human, these humanoid bug creatures. It's once again awesome. They have four arms, or six maybe. Uh, some have wings. Um, pretty much, uh, it's ev they've evolved each different individual. Sumak has evolved to meet the needs they need to meet. So, pretty much it's, nobody's exactly the same. Uh, they don't have a, defi a definitive gender, uh, meaning they reproduce uh, via, they leave eggs in places. Um, Pretty much, uh, and because pre pretty much the, the eggs are left in a sacred part of wherever they are, and yeah, and then they hatch, and then the sumac kind of branch out, and they go out and they try to survive out in the world. And yeah, um, promote so, so because of that. The Sumac people are very closed and reserved and basically very only worried about themselves for the most part. They have no organized form of religion, however they focus very much more on a philosophy and more philosophical ideas like compassion, loyalty, honesty. And they don't talk. They have no verbal language. Pretty much all their... But their brains and their mental abilities are so great that they have developed the innate power of psionics. And they basically communicate through telepathy. But to that end, they not all, but, to, but even though they don't have a spoken language, they do have a written form of language, which is basically hieroglyphs. There's a sample. Haven't flushed it out all the way. And yeah, um, Mainly, uh, mainly, uh, the Sumac live in the city of Tulak, which is this massive underground city that goes down, like, goes down to far depths in the ground, where they just thrive. However, they've also outlawed 
magic, or arcane magic, because it's proven very not trustworthy in the past. Uh, magic users have betrayed them. So they're very uneasy about that. So they've basically exiled everyone to the surface above, which is... They, they've exiled all the magic users to the surface above. And they found... Uh, yeah, and... Where they thrive. So it's very much a... Interesting society. Uh... The Sumac, who are above ground, cannot return to Tulak, uh, because they, they can't. They're exiled. They lock the doors. They can't return. However, they have flourished and wander around in nomadic tribes, and they do pretty well for themselves up there. Um, monsters in this land, there are... In Tulak, there are in the deep depths weird uh, tentacle Lovecraftian monsters that, for some reason, wander the halls and terrorize people. Outside, on the surface of Makok, uh, I'm sorry, Mi Mythical, I can't even say my own land correctly, there are basically dinosaurs. Um, Like I said, it's it's basically the lost world where there are dinosaurs walk, just walking around eating people. Um, however, the dinosaurs and those sumucks can kill the dinosaurs. Um, however, in Tulak, the sumac cannot kill the Lovecraftian monsters. One, because that's just it's my inspiration of Lovecraft, and also just. They just don't know how. It, these tentacle beasts are so paralyzed in fear. They paralyze the sumac or, yeah, into fear that they just have to run and hide. They can't fight. Um, that's monsters. Um, place the ruins on the above world. Are well, obviously. Place of interest is just too lucky because it's, it's a massive city. I don't even have a map drawn yet. <laughs> and probably would ever have one. Uh, but there's various ruins, uh, various sacred meadows where, uh, when a, on the above ground where the Somak have to lay their eggs, they go and they lay them and then they leave and populate the world. And then somewhere in this world, there is a giant metal ruin that has glowing lights and weird creatures in it that are very alien to these bug men. Which, they don't know, they're very scared of this place. and. Because they don't know where it's from. It's this giant metal thing that glows lights, and you're, and it's, I'm just gonna say, it, it's a spaceship. It's a giant spaceship that crashed here. Because, you know what? What's fantasy without a little weird science thrown into it? Um. Their government is basically organized. There's a king, then there's various lords. Then there's noble houses or guilds, and then there's the people. That's basically the structure we okay, kind of how things get done. Is there anything else down there? Um, so anyway, yeah, I hope that this is cool, it's what, uh, CMY7 is looking for, 
Um, have a lot of fun. I'll probably keep flushing this out. I'll keep you posted on how I'm doing. Anyway, as always, I'm John, and happy gaming!